My name is Serena Karapetian and I'm 26 years old. So I am, I am an artist and a creator and I, I just make things. <laughs> I don't like defining myself like that. Um, I, I mean, I think for the sake of this interview, I'm an artist. Um, I'm a woman. I'm free, you know, energetically, creatively. But other than that, I don't really want to label myself or define myself. I just want to be open to whoever I become. I started painting when I was really young, uh, eight, ten years old, and then uh, my parents put me in the classical Russian art academy growing up, and uh, that's kind of where I really got my foot in the door with being creatively free and making lots of things all the time. Had an amazing teacher. That's kind of where the, the ball started rolling. <laughs> Van Gogh has always been a huge inspiration. Monet, I love the Impressionists. I think the Impressionists moved me to really push myself uh, out of my comfort zone and kind of get outdoors and work with nature more and light more. So those have to be two of my top, top two artists. James Terrell is a huge inspiration for me as well. So. I love doing the spiritual abstractionism versus like like trying to explain it in icons or pictures. Now I just want to create a spiritual feeling in my work. Uh, and I also want to create technical drawings with graphite or paintings, like very technical paintings. So I'm kind of on both ends of the spectrum, but it has changed a lot. I've, I've tried to really uh, hone in my skills and work towards more of a feeling than just trying to explain my, my painting, you know? Life, life inspires me. Um, I think now I try to capture moments. So moments, energy, uh, timing, things that happen, stance, chances, things like that are really interesting to me. And that's kind of what inspires me. Like, oh, this crazy thing happened today. I have to make work that's inspired by that. Whether it's painful or happy, I think that's what's inspiring me most now is this, this sense of leading energy. <laughs> like these moments, you know? My work is very intuitive and spiritual. I, I don't think it can be anything else at that at this point because I now have this deep love for that when I'm making work that's really 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 genuine and honest and I'm not really afraid to be that way anymore with my work and so now all my work has a sense of honesty um, so that's, that's probably the way of describing it there's so many ways there's so many different types of pieces but I just hope that every piece I have makes somebody feel something inside themselves. Some of the strongest work I can make is alone, in the middle of nowhere, no one even knows where I'm at, there's no pressure to make anything good, and it's just completely intuitive. Um, I did that in the woods, I did that in Almalfi a couple times as well when I went to Italy to paint in New York. And that it was, it was, it was really intense, but it was really, really um, creatively opening. Um, it's probably a three-way tie between uh, this charcoal drawing, this Amalfi piece, and then the Union. This is the one behind me. It's really special to me. I just think I became an artist when I made that. You know, there's a painting, you can make a thousand pieces of work, and then you make one that just changes the game for you. And I think that painting changed the game for me. I was really emotional working on it, uh, really sensitive, really vulnerable. I just made something beyond my limits.
I think I, I think ultimately I'd like to open up a really large studio and have employees and we, we build amazing creative things together because I would love to, I have all these ideas but I know I need engineers involved and I know I need um, a lot of logistical help and I think having a large studio large facility to do a lot of really cool projects would be be a really cool point in my journey. Uh, you could be better than the person next to you, but if you're not focused and committed, then you're not gonna get anywhere. Uh, and don't be too attached to what you're making. Be free, just keep making things, you know, with babies. I'm still a baby in my art career, even though I've accomplished so much, there's still a whole lifetime ahead of me. So I think don't become imprisoned by your ideas. Just, just make things where you're young, you're free, you don't have a ton of people watching you, just be open, uh, open to whatever you want to make. That is probably the best advice I can give. And just be smart and know that you're about to put everything into making this happen.